Hey, yo, what's going on, D-Squad? Before we get into the video, guys, make sure you guys go follow me on my Instagram, at Dicey's. Follow me on my Twitter as well, at It's Dicey's. And make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications so you guys get notified every time I do upload a video. YouTube has been quite broken for some time, and uh, that is the best way to make sure you guys do get notified. So make sure you turn on all notifications when you do click on that bell, and I will see you guys in the video. Let's go. Squad, welcome back to another Minecraft Pocket video. Today, we're going to be starting up a brand new series called How to Play. Now, the first episode is going to be How to Play Treasure Wars, guys. So, this is for all the people who don't really know how to play Treasure Wars, who don't know the basics of it, and who may not even know what Treasure Wars is. So, without further ado, let's hop right into the video. So, the fundamental basics of Treasure Wars is it's if you've ever heard of Bed Wars on Minecraft Java Edition, it is very, very similar and pretty much the exact same thing. Now, one thing that a lot of people like to do is go ahead and start off by getting some blocks. Now, you could either start off by defending your bed, which is smart, or you could come to the middle and get the diamonds, which is even smarter, because then you could actually upgrade your gold ore generator to get gold faster, to get to middle faster, and hence win the game faster, which is what I like to do most. But if you are one of the bed protectors, you could still do that here. So we're gonna go ahead and get a, uh, we're gonna upgrade our generator first, and then we're gonna go ahead and protect our bed. So let's come over here, quickly do a nice little protection layer, just like this and there we go so now we have a nice little protection there um, you can go and upgrade it more by getting more or better blocks I'm gonna go ahead and go to the diamond to get some more uh, I usually like to get a bow and arrow from here and uh, the bow and arrow is actually pretty OP on the server it deals a lot of knockback let alone a lot of damage itself which is very very good to have so from here you would like to definitely get a stone sword um, just in case that person across from your island tries to rush then I get the bow and arrow and some arrows real quick and now it is time to go to the middle so now that we have enough wool it usually takes about 32 wool sometimes less to get to the middle um, just depending on the map so first off you're gonna come over here um, you could there's several different ways to bridge if you are on pocket edition I know it is a lot harder to bridge um, but if you are on bedrock edition possibly even the console uh, that you could possibly you might have a better advantage at bridging which is definitely good so I like to come here and grab a full little swoop of emeralds before other players come and get them and uh, get diamond armor so since this player is attempting to come I'm gonna go ahead and try shooting him off with my bow I like to actually have my bow in my second slot if it'll let me um, for some reason there we go it wouldn't let me but now we have it so now that we have enough uh, emeralds we're gonna go back to our base and upgrade our uh, gold generator one more time I also like to grab at least five diamonds from here so we could upgrade our sword as well and uh, that would leave us two extra diamonds to upgrade if we need it again. So there we go, we upgraded our gold generator once more. Now to get diamond armor, we technically need 20 emeralds. So while we're here, I'm gonna go ahead, get some more arrows and then I'm gonna get some chainmail armor as well. So it might be smart of you to actually go ahead and while you're waiting for that to get some wooden blocks to go ahead and add another layer of protection to your base just so nobody else can go ahead and break it really fast. Um, with the wood they will need an axe to break it a lot faster and now we have enough to go ahead and get some chainmail armor. So there we go we have the chainmail armor. 
Now, what do we need for concrete? Concrete, we are going to need 15 gold. So I think we should have that right about now. There we go, we have it. So we're gonna go ahead and do a layer of concrete as well, just to, you know, give it that one extra hand of protection on our base. We're gonna delete this block, since this block isn't necessarily needed for the protection of the base. And there we go. It's This is the best strat um, layout to defend your base on bed wars and or treasure wars. Um, so there we go, just a few more pieces, and that should give us six pieces left over, and we are ready to go back to middle, claim some more emeralds, and hopefully get diamond armor before anybody else does. So it appears that green is coming over here. Oh, actually, no, they are running away. Green is going to, to get attacked by the... Oh, I just sniped that guy. You definitely helps if you guys have some good aim so it looks like this guy is now running away we're gonna try to kill him before he can though so this guy is trying to run away but i'm trying to snipe him really quick um but i don't seem to be doing a very good job oof so i still have enough emeralds regardless to go ahead and get the diamond armor so i'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my armor really really quick before he actually gets it first um, so I don't think green has come back yet. So that's good. Um, magenta is actually only one kill away If you look at the bottom of the screen, you could see that magenta color is a little bit different the, the texture of it is more of missing part of their blocks um, It's so that means they only have one life left. That means their bed has been destroyed their treasure So now we could go ahead grab the emeralds from our ender chest and go ahead and get the armor so now that we have diamond armor, I think it would definitely be good to get some more arrows, just in case. So we're going to grab a little bit more arrows, about a stack or so of them. There we go. We now have over a stack of arrows. We're going to put some of these up there, since we don't necessarily need them. We only have 12 er er gold left. So now we're going to see what we can do with these extras. Emeralds. So we're going to get an ender pearl, and that took the last of our emeralds, which is okay. I think ender pearls are very, very clutch items. They can be used in a great great way and there is magenta there they don't appear to have enough emeralds for diamond armor but they do have a diamond sword which could do a lot of damage if you do not have diamond armor chainmail is very very weak against diamond sword so i don't think this guy knows i'm here quite yet with the diamond armor he does not know so we're gonna go after him and attempt to kill him we might even try getting ahead of him so let's try going over here oh we, we actually ended up messing up that ender pearl sadly okay so magenta is now running back this way so we're gonna try to catch him off over here and listen man it's okay sometimes you just have to accept your death in the game and uh, in this situation with the diamond armor guy chasing after you you can either fight or run this guy is choosing to run which will probably not work out too well against him in the end but we're gonna do our best to try to catch up to him so he is actually working to try to get the emerald still which is slowing him down in this situation I would try to still run and it appears he jumped off Wow okay so we did hit him once with the bow and arrow um, which proved to do a lot of damage now he is dead there we go so we could pick up his all his emeralds he actually did have enough there to go ahead and get the diamond armor but he did he chose i guess he really didn't have an option to run away so we're gonna go ahead and come over here to this guy since he doesn't appear to have any good gear we're gonna kill him really really quick grab his uh pickaxe there break in now having a pickaxe would definitely help you out a lot in this situation breaking the bed really really fast but it appears this guy went, is going to lose. So in a situation like this, where it's one versus one, and I have the upper hand advantage with diamond armor and the other guy doesn't, I like to have a little bit of fun. Snowballs do an intense amount of knockback damage. So I'm going to get as many snowballs as I possibly can with, of course, a few ender pearls just in case. There we go. So we have four ender pearls remaining. Now I'm going to go ahead, ender pearl on top of this guy's base, just like this. There we go. We're here. He doesn't know. And now he does know, actually. So we went ahead, knocked him off really, really fast. We're going to break this down just like that. And now I'm going to take my armor off. I'm going to take my armor off just because 
Sometimes it's fun just to have some fun with these guys and knock them off the snowball. Snowballs, again, do a tense amount of knockback damage. But guys, that is how you guys can play some treasure wars guys this was a lot of fun if you guys did enjoy this video and you guys do want some more tutorials leave a like down below subscribe and i will see you guys next time peace out and bye bye